everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Backer Designs. I have a fun little back to school treat for all of your kids who are going back to school who'd like to take a little special treat to their teacher this year. I found these new Kit Kat apple pie flavored. Hello, I've never seen these before. They were actually at Walmart in the uh, in the checkout counter. They were up where all the other candy was. I'm actually someone, my downline Lisa let me know that she had found these. And I actually did have to look on several aisles to find them, but they were right at the checkout counter. All right, so we're just gonna make a little pocket, a little sleeve here um, to hold the Kit Kat bar. And the stamp set I'm using is Harvest Hellos, which is a great stamp set. It has apple and pumpkin, as well as a matching punch. And we're gonna just stamp and color that beautiful apple. But first let's make the holder. Now, I really wanted to match the colors of this Kit Kat, the yellow and the red. Um, and I wanted to use yellow designer series paper so that that red apple would just pop right off. We have um, designer series paper stacks in all the colors. And so Daffodil Delight is what I wanted to use. But what I found is that the six by six piece isn't quite big enough to go around. And I was frustrated and I really wanted to use it. So I decided, you know what, we're gonna make this work. So I cut a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that uh, measures two by six because the paper only comes in six by six. And I'm gonna take my Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm just gonna extend this designer series paper. And you're not even gonna be able to see this because it's gonna be on the inside. Those pieces will wrap and bump up right next to each other. All right, before we do that, we're also gonna put some adhesive down here along the edge, okay? Now get your Kit Kat, put it in. And first you need to wrap this side around with that cardstock right there and wrap this side around and actually you know what we need to actually put some adhesive here i forgot to put a little bit of adhesive right there and now squish them together and look at that you can't even see that cardstock and it looks like that paper fits perfectly doesn't it all right now down here we've gonna we're gonna smush together remember we put adhesive down there like that Okay, now I wanted to make those little crimped lines like you see on packaging. So if you have a crimper, that works perfectly, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna actually take this guy out. I'm gonna lay it here on my Simply Scored, and I'm just going to do some score lines. Three score lines will give you that faux crimped appearance. Okay, all right. So let's put our little um, Kit Kat bar back in. Now, I haven't tasted it, but I, I can't imagine that Kit Kat would let me down. <laughs> I'm sure it's delicious. All right, now get a hole punch and punch two holes. Doesn't matter which hole punch you use, any will work. I'm gonna take our new braided linen trim. I'm gonna cut it at an angle so I can feed it through there like that. This is Real Red Braided Linen Trim in the Holiday Catalog. It's um, not as skinny necessarily as twine, but it's it's the next best, best thing, if you ask me. I love twine. And um, the Stampin' Up! catalogs right now are scarce in twine. So this is going to be what I use in place of twine. All right, now we've got that. Now you notice I had to trim those frayed edges as I went through the holes because my holes are real skinny. You don't have to do that if you use a regular hole punch. All right, adjust those and cut them off. All right, now all we need to do is make our cute little tag. We're gonna stamp our apple in memento black, which is on another tray. I have projects lined up over here, all kinds of projects being videoed and they are sharing their products. Okay, we're gonna stamp this one down here like that. And we're gonna stamp the apple slice. We'll do this one. Um, I don't wanna, when I punch it, I don't wanna get it. So we'll get that like that. Okay, now grab your Real Red Stampin' Blends. And I'm gonna start with 
my light real red. Our Stampin' Blends have two tips. They're double sided. This is the bullet in tip, which is my favorite because I feel like I, I stay in the lines. I have better control. But when I'm coloring something big like this, I like to use the brush tip too. So I'm just gonna do the edges like that with my light. All right. And then I'm gonna switch around to my brush and I'm gonna fill in as I go around. Now our blends will blend, that's why they're called blends, as you add color. And so I'm just gonna add a, one like a full, full coat across my apple, okay? Now I'm gonna take my dark, actually I'm gonna use that brush tip again. And I'm gonna add some shading over here on this side of my apple. Okay, we're gonna make this side darker and the bottom as well. Now I'm gonna come back with my light and I'm gonna blend all of that together. Now you could just really continue blending until you get that perfect blended look whenever you're ready. I think I'll stop there. Now I want to recreate that shine mark right there. So I'm gonna take my color lifter and I'm just gonna go like this right here and that's gonna make kind of a shine right there where that line is. All right, now for over here, all you have to do is take your basic black stamp and blend and color in that seed and then i'm going to use the dark because this is such a small little sliver of apple and i'm going to use my bullet tip so that i make sure i don't get out of the lines there we go all right now See, when I stamped that, I made sure it was high enough so that I wouldn't punch it with the leaf or the stem punch there. And while I have it, let's go ahead and punch an early espresso stem. And this one, we're gonna have to cut out with our scissors. So I'm gonna cut it off that cardstock. And I'm gonna use that little piece here in a minute. No waste. All right, now I'm gonna grab my smaller scissors and I'm gonna cut out this little apple slice. There we go. All right, now let's piece it all together. I think I'll just use a glue dot here for the stem. Fold it in just a bit and stick that right there. Now this little slice is gonna be with a dimensional and it's gonna go at an angle over here like that. All right, now for our sentiment to an A plus teacher. Now, if you don't have a teacher that you need to give a, give a gift to, change the sentiment and this can go for anybody. And I stamped that crooked, let's try again. Let's try again. There we go. So change the sentiment and it could be for a friend, a coworker, um, Anybody, a student, maybe you want to give it to your child as they go off to their first day of school. All right, so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to make a little flag here on the end. I didn't quite leave enough space to use my banner punch, so we'll just use our scissors. All right, and I want it to stick out here and I'm going to have to cut it a little bit more. I want it to stick right behind. Let's take that off a little bit. Yep, let's do that. All right, we're gonna put that there, like that, and then we'll arrange this so that it meets that at the edge. Maybe a little bit further over like that. All right, there we go. Now, one last thing. I have cut out a whisper white label using our unicorn dies, our, nope, our hippo dies. They're the hippo dies from the annual catalog. They have some great labels. So that's what this is. And I'm gonna stamp the little seeds right down here in Memento. I'm gonna come back with my basic black marker and 
color in those seeds. Just like that. And now we'll grab some more dimensionals and we'll put our apple right here. And then we will put the label on our cute little apple pie Kit Kat sleeve. And there you have it. And there is a simple, easily reproduced back to school treat. I hope you like this. Make sure you hop over to my blog and check out the supply list. And um, there, there will be a link on this blog post today to link you back to last week's other back to school projects in case you need some more ideas. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.